Hello everyone, my name's Gad. In this video I'm going to be showing you how you can detect the surface angle and also check if you're going uphill or downhill. So you can see here we've got zero degrees on a flat surface and then if I move this up to this hill, it's uphill 25 degrees and if I rotate the cube around, it's going to say that we're downhill and it's at 16 degrees and then, so that's about it really. It's quite simple and I'm just going to get straight into it. So I'm just going to remove this component off here and then add a new one and call it surface angle and then new script create an add I'm just going to open this up bring it onto my monitor here and so there's a few variables we're going to need and then the first one is going to be public transform and then this is going to be the rear ray uh, position and then also going to duplicate this one and then change the rear to front we're also going to want a public layer mask I'm going to just call it layer mask and then what we're going to want now is a float for the surface angle and then a ball for uphill and a ball, <laughs> ball, ball for flat surface. And so now we've done that. In the update, I'm just going to have the rear ray position dot rotation, and then equal this to quaternion dot Euler, and then we're just going to have the minus game object dot transform dot rotation dot x and then this means that when we rotate the cube around it's not going to affect the rotation of these ray positions so they're always facing down and then so we can just do zero for the y and you could do minus the game object transform rotation for the z but I'm not going to and then duplicate this and then just change this to front and then that's all done for that and now we can get into doing a ray cast. So I'm just going to have a ray cast hit and call this rear hit. And then if physics dot ray cast, and then it's going to start from the rear ray position dot position. And then it is going to go in the rear ray position dot transform direction. And then I'm just going to do a minus vector three dot up and then it's going to go the distance oh first we need to out the rear hit and then we can do the distance of math f dot infinity and also check for the layer mask so if this is true we're going to debug dot draw array and then this again is going to be from the rear ray position dot position and then the rear ray position dot transform direction and then minus vector three dot up and then it's going to be times the rear hit dot distance and then also the color dot yellow and then so now what we can do is have the surface angle equal to the vector three dot angle and then in the brackets have the rear hit dot normal and then also vector three dot up and this is going to compare the normal of the hit to vector three dot up and then give you the ground angle so what we're going to do here is else and then just have debug dot draw array and then I'm just going to copy this paste it here except we don't want this rear hit dot distance because there won't be one and then I'm just going to do a thousand there and change this color to red and then also we're going to have uphill equals false and I'll explain why when we're in the scene and then debug dot log warning just because we've already got a debug dot log 
even though we actually don't. <laughs> we need to debug.log the surface angle here. So in the warning, I'm just going to debug.log down here. And now that's done, we're going to make another raycast hit and call this front hit. And then also, we're going to have the front ray position, but we're going to actually change its position or change the ray position. So what we need to do for this is just, I'm going to make a vector three and then call this front ray start, pause, and then equal this to a new vector three. And then this is just going to be the uh, front ray Cos dot position dot x and then here we want the rear ray position dot position dot y because we need these to stay at the same height for the check to work properly and then front ray position dot position dot z and what you can do is have the front ray or the rear ray actually copy the front ray's y position if you want it the other way around but this is just the way I'm going to do it and now we can actually go and do the raycast check. So physics dot raycast, and then from the front ray start pause, and then the front ray position dot transform direction, and then minus vector three dot up, and then again we're going to out the front hit this time, and then also math f dot infinity for the distance and check for the layer mask so in here we're just going to debug dot draw ray and then i'm just going to copy the bit here and then just change the rear ray positions to the front ray positions same here Except actually, I'm going to have this as the front ray start pause. And then this rear hit distance, front hit distance. And then that's all good and there's nothing else in here. And so I'm going to write else statement here. And then else uphill equals true. And debug dot log warning. And then this is going to be uphill. So this is the equivalent of this one, where it's downhill if the rear ray is underneath the ground, basically. And then so after this elf, elf, else, I'm gonna write another if statement, if front hit dot distance is more, or do less first, than the rear hit dot distance. And then, so if that's true, then uphill equals true. And then I'm going to debug.log warning uphill. So obviously, if the distance of the front hit is smaller than the rear hit distance, then let me show you in here. So if you can imagine this over here, this rear distance is going to be longer when we're going uphill than this front distance. So that's why it's that way around. It's quite simple. And then, so here we're going to just have it else if. And in this, the forward hit, again it's called front hit, dot distance is greater than this time, the rear hit, dot distance. Then it's going to be the opposite, so uphill equals false. And then I'm just going to debug dot log warning. And then it's going to be downhill. And so now we've done this one, we're going to add in another else if. And in this one, it's going to be if the forward or the front hit dot distance. And then if it equals the rear hit dot distance 
then obviously the flat surface is going to equal true. And then I'm just going to debug.log warning once again. And then have this as flat surface. And then finally else, we're going to have flat surface equals false. Because all of the other possibilities are taken into account here. And then this is everything for the script. So we just got a bit of setting up to do. So first thing you want to do is have a layer for the object that you don't want it to the rays to kind of touch and think that's the ground. So I've added in a layer called cube. And then so now on the layer mask, we just want to select everything, select it again and deselect the cube. And then just add in the rear ray position and the front ray positions here. And then now when we press play, go on the scene so I can drag it around, flat surface, let's go, go on the console, zero degrees, 25 degrees uphill. And so the reason why we do it when the, the hit position doesn't go and actually hit anything, you can see we're going uphill still, we're still the rear ray, but the front ray isn't working anymore because it's gone beneath the ground. So same applies the other way when we rotate it, it's downhill because we've got the front ray here and then the rear one, you can see it's not liking it. So that is everything for this video, hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, give it a like, if you didn't, don't. And subscribe if you want to see some more. I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye.